Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech. Bits of price of Bitcoin has climbed again. There's a lot of people who are super interested in getting into it, and there are a lot of people who don't know how to get into it, and they're brought to these easy things like crypto tab browsers. So I've looked into it. I have a lot of experience with crypto. I mined a bunch of crypto back in the day, mostly Monero. And this is a different game. This isn't just flat out mining. This is almost like Google being Google, but giving you Bitcoin for showing you extra ads on top of everything. And yes, it actually pays out. Now, there's different ways to mine, different ways to win, different ways to get. A lot of people, if you're going to go, be going to these videos on YouTube and listen to people on YouTube, I recommend you don't listen to any of them that provide an affiliate link. You'll notice I do not have an affiliate link for this crypto tab browser. That's because it seems like the only people who really make money off of it are the people who uh, who give their codes up, are the people who affiliate it, the, are the people who advertise it. Those are the only people who are actually making money off it. I'm not saying nobody's making Bitcoin. Lots of people are making Bitcoin off this stuff. You can actually get Bitcoin. You can actually get paid out but you're only going to be getting paid out unless you affiliate that I don't know, and the affiliates go to 10 layers the stuff you mine goes to them so it's not exactly a pyramid scheme but it kind of is but at the same time the only thing anyone is actually losing is processor power and uh yeah just processor power and hydro so if you want to get into it just for the fun of it you're probably going to be uh, throwing all of your money at Hydro to exchange for Bitcoin just for fun. But if you're really good at the affiliate stuff, then you can get a little bit trickle in more and more. This is an interesting situation right now. Look at this. It's cloud mining. How is it cloud mining? What cloud are they using? Because they're definitely not using my phone. There's a full version and a paid version. And, uh, I'm still going to get into the differences between the two, but this will work for Android and this will work for PC. You definitely will mine, but the whole thing is, you jump into it, if you browse with it, you see more advertisements, you get a cut of that. The 10 people above you get a cut of it. If you wanna make the most money, maybe, maybe, I don't know this for sure, if you wanna make the most money, it might be best not to use anybody's affiliate link. And then if you have other people mining under you, I've heard that that you're not taking money from people that mine, but then where's this Bitcoin coming from? How does this work? This almost smells a little bit like BitConnect, remember BitConnect? Back in the day, except for BitConnect, you were definitely putting money in and you were getting a, a, a return. Remember, if anyone tells you that uh, your return is guaranteed anything over 3%, they're BSing you. Nobody can guarantee you 3%. 5% is, you know, kind of kind of good. Kind of kind of good. Man, people at Wall Street, if they could get 4 or 5%, 3% is inflation every year, man. So you got to fight that to begin with. But anyways, let's get into the apps. Let's get into the nuance of these things. They're, they ask you twice for your information. The only way you can sign up is you have to give your Google information. And then you can sign up for a boost if you give them more Google information. The information is what all of this is based off of and once again it seems to put advertisements on your screen in order to uh, cut you into some more coin. But let's get a little more into this shall we? Alright folks so here's the mining rig that I set up. I've been having this stuff run for about a week. Here you can see uh, this system right here. Um, it has its own hash and it's actually mining from this system. Same with this PC unit over here. This is a system that I don't got a fan working on it, so I just got a giant heat sink that takes care of the heat dissipation. And with all this stuff combined, I've been mining for about a week. Oh yeah, two cell phones too. I got a, a an LG G3, and I have my, uh, my Google Pixel. And the interesting thing is, they both seem to mine about the exact same amount, even though there is such a crazy difference in age between these two units. And again, they're not saying they're mining on my phone. What they're saying is that they're mining 
in the cloud. So I got the pro version here. I'm pretty sure that means that uh, I'll get things a lot quicker. I'll uh, do these hashes a lot quicker, even though they're only on the cloud. So interesting thing here. You can come on over here, check this out. Oh, let's say I want to mine quicker on the cloud. I can click that. Oh yeah, add cloud boost. Oh, okay. It costs money. It costs money to add a cloud boost, which is uh, kind of unconscionable when you think about crypto mining. Because if this thing was really just mining crypto, it's it's like it would make it or it would not make it. It's not like I could pay to win. It's not like I could put money down and make this thing mine even quicker. It looks like there's uh, there's ways to cloud mine up over here too. But then again, over here, I actually have to hit mine in order to mine. And then it just runs. It just runs. But on the Android, I have to come back to it every now and then. And it just keeps mining. It's almost as if it's on your phone. It just wants your information. And your information is valuable. And it's nice that they cut you in on some of that value. Could you imagine if Google did that? Now, it should be said that all of your information over Google is probably only worth about 10, 15 bucks these days. I think that this stuff pays out more than Google would or that Google could. So, I don't like that you have to log in to these systems with your Google account. It's a little bit sketchy. There is a little bit of sketchiness involved in all of this stuff, especially when the referral is the big deal. If you're making money off of this, you're probably referring. It sounds like you'll make more money referring than you will actually mining. So can I recommend this? Well, you might want to check out Better Hash if you're just up for the mining. Um, but if, if that doesn't work out for you, this will definitely work out in getting you paid and the and the 10 people before you once again a little bit of a pyramid scheme it will get you crypto it does pay out it's sketchy on the back end but it actually pays out and i can't see how this could become another bitconnect situation now another thing that i want to point out to you is i have made under a dollar in about a week worth of processing with these three units so I mean, it is really difficult to mine Bitcoin. There is a lot of other people out there doing it. The people in China are a lot better at doing it than the people in North America because they have better technology, they, it's cheaper, and they have access to cheaper electricity privately. So what's probably actually going on here is I'm mining Monero and being paid out within Bitcoin. But once again, it does pay out, and there is a lot to be said about that. Anyways, folks, like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other. BitConnect!